top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on Tim and Seal? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really, really cool looking Fortnite banner background in Photoshop. It's really, really easy to do uh, and it's very like, there's a lot of things going on in the background. It looks sick. Um, I'll put an image on the screen right now of what it looks like. If you, if you follow me on Twitter at Timpers HD, follow me there guys, um, you would have saw this, uh, seen this already. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video guys, uh, hit the like button down below. Come and break 100 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Subscribe if you are new. The support recently guys has been amazing, keep it up. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And let me know what uh, videos you want to see on my channel down below. I'm always reading the comments guys. And yeah, with that all being said, let's get on into the video. Yo guys, so we are here in Photoshop, so what you want to do first is open up a one, uh, no sorry, a 3000 by 1000 um, document, which is the size of a Twitter header, um, and it's pixels, um, and yeah, so this is what, something, not exactly, but something like the background, um, I'll be showing you guys how to make, um, and yeah, it's really easy to do, just make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. Um, so the first thing we are going to need to do is obviously get some characters in there So I've already got these two right here and I got it from if you go over to Google and type in fnbr.co um, This is where I get them from and you want to If we just go right to the top It's under cosmetics and then icons and if you scroll down quite a bit you get two The characters uh, and then all you've got to do is say if you want this one right here and right click save image as and save it and it's really good quality the next thing you want to get a banner background so I've just got this one right here um, like so and the first thing you want to do is just set it to luminosity and bring down the opacity to about 15 to 20 percent something like that um, and then I'm just gonna we'll click on the background and group it control E uh, and I'm just, just gonna zoom in a bit in fact why is it let me just increase the size a little bit I think that was a bit of a glitch but anyway uh, add a new layer above the background and we're gonna add a spot of blue or whatever color you guys want to use um, in fact yeah I'm gonna use blue for this one just click right behind and either light and screen or color dodge looks good uh, color dodge does look good and if you press ctrl u you can actually change it to the right color so i want it a bit lighter like so um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding effects to the characters so i'm just going to rasterize both of them and let's just zoom in a little bit um, so let's start with the one on the right, so you just want to add a new layer, right click, create clipping mask, and we're just going to go to black first, and then on the right side we're going to add a shadow, bring down the opacity of it, something like that, then add a new layer, create clipping mask, uh, make sure it's white, and then we're just going to add a highlight on this side, and set that to overlay and bring down the opacity of it like so and you can also add a spot on his face just to brighten it up a little bit and then you just want to merge them three together with Control e and then on the second character on the left create a clipping mask go to black and we need to add a shadow on this side here like so and bring down the opacity to about 20% and then exactly the same, create clipping mask, white, and then add a spot of white on the left, set that to overlay, bring down the opacity of it a bit, like so. So obviously it's looking really nice so far, and then I'm just going to press Ctrl E and merge them together. Um, and yeah, once you've done that, above the spot of blue, add a new layer, and then we can add a spot of white as well and change that to overlay and then on top of everyone else all the layers add a new layer and go to whatever color you're using and make it blue and just maybe at the bottom add a spot and change that maybe 
screen looks quite nice and just bring down the opacity of it a little bit like so so it's looking really cool already and if you just look at this um, banner or header um, there's a lot going on in the background so that's kind of the style we want to be going for I use a lot of half tones um, as you can see right there um, I've got a lot of like tech effects going on in the background over here as you can see uh, and there's a lot of lighting and colors which is used so that's what we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you I'm not gonna show you the whole entire thing just the background um, and yeah so the first thing we're gonna do is go uh, I'm using the divinity pack by the way or you can just search it up on Google and find these yourself just tech stocks and just find a tech stock that you like maybe something like this bring it over to the uh, document and bring it behind everything else and then I'm just going to move it over here like so and you can change it to either lighten screen or color dodge I'm going to keep it on screen and it's blue already so I'm going to keep it like that next I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this right here and obviously we need to change the blend mode to something like lighten in fact we're going to use color dodge on this one and we're just going to resize it a little bit and i want to be i want it to be on the left side something like that and we're just going to use the eraser tool to get rid of this hard edge over here And that looks really cool so far next thing we're gonna add one more I'm just gonna have a look at all the different ones we've got going on right here um, I guess we could use this one drag that in I'm actually gonna move this one over to the left side over here I'm gonna change the blend mode as well color dodge looks pretty cool and I'm going to just bring down the opacity of it a bit I don't want it to be too bright next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to add a new layer and then on the right side and the left side we're just going to shadow like so and then add a new layer, go to white and then in certain places just add a spot of white and change it to overlay and you can bring down the opacity of that a little bit uh, next thing we're going to add some colour corrections to make it a lot more vibrant so I'm going to bring the brightness down here and the contrast up and then go to curves bring this over and let's bring this down a bit then go to exposure bring the exposure up bring up the offset to about 125 and then the gamma correction bring that up a bit and then go to color balance and you want to move it over to the color you're using so blue a bit magenta maybe and then obviously blue on this side like so and I'm just going to group them together and just have a look at what the difference we've done next add a new layer go to white and then at the top in the middle just add a spot of, spot of white and just bring down the opacity of that a bit and bring it below the colour corrections like so so it's looking really cool so far um, and the next thing I'm going to show you and we're going to go over to the pack again and we're going to add some half tones you can add smoke and stuff um, as well so I think I'm going to use this one right here and a really cool effect is instead of putting it um, like right in the corner you can just put it uh, in a certain area I'll just show you guys as it loads so 
So what I mean by that is if you press Control T uh, and then just move it down a bit, like it looks pretty cool just putting it down there and then setting the blend mode to overlay and then bring it, make sure it's below the color corrections as it is and then press Control J to duplicate it and yeah just having that at the bottom looks really cool and then if you press Control G and you group them to, together and press Control J to duplicate it you can use that and move it somewhere else like maybe in the corner like so and then press Control J again to duplicate it and you might want to put it so yeah it's already looking really cool um, and I've also got this thing on the side over here um, and it's blurred so you guys can add things in the side and make it blurred I've also got um, some electric going here you can search up on Google type in cartoon electric um, and yeah uh, the last thing that um, I'm gonna show you guys what to do is the text so I'm just gonna get rid of the graphics pack now Um, if you just go to the text tool, uh, the font that I used in the banner is this one right here. Um, it's called Gang of Three. Um, so, what should I put? Tutorial. I'll just put tutorial. And I'm just going to resize it. And I, th I find it white text always looks best with banners like this. So I'm just going to put it right in the middle, I think that's the middle, and then just rasterize it. And then press Ctrl J, increase the size of the one in the background, like so, and set that to overlay. And that looks really cool as well, and then if you press Ctrl J, and make sure it's back to normal, so it's white again. And then on the thumbnail, press Ctrl, so it's just highlighting the text. Then go to select modify contract by four and then press delete on the keyboard and you get this really cool outline effect around the outside you can leave that like that if you want or you can set it to overlay and it gives it a cool outline um, and also you can move it if you just go to the selection tool and using the arrow keys you can move it like so and that looks cool and you can bring down the opacity that looks really nice as well um, but I think I'm just gonna set it to overlay and then press ctrl J to duplicate it um, and yeah that's um, that's uh, what I'm gonna show you that's it for that um, you can add a gradient overlay to the tutorial text black to white and make sure it's normal and then an inner glow as well um, and then if you just look at this header, I added some text above it saying the official Twitter of um, or you can put the official YouTube channel of and then the social media at the bottom. The text I actually used in this, I'll show you guys right now. So for this text right here, I'll show you guys. It is a pixel font called Pixel Bug. You can get it on dafont.com as you can get gang of three the text i used you can get that on dafont.com as well but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys the main thing with this is to be creative and uh add quite a lot of different um effects and uh textures and stuff in the background but don't go over the top with it um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see some more fortnite tutorials on the channel let me know down below um i'm thinking of doing some like animated outros and stuff like that but yeah if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe if you are new um and with that all being said i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one